life as a older me. I feel you holding me. I guess you still molding me. Hopefully, but don't let the evil get close to me. Uh. I wonder if dreams come true. Pushing on the star with the dreams. Let's get back to. Right, let's, yeah, get, yeah. let's get back. Where, where but was we to at? answer your question, just so we get off this topic, and had he won, uh -huh. but if they was to face to face it off, Reed would have smashed him. Okay. My opinion. That's your opinion. My okay. opinion. I disagree. I think Hattie probably would have won overall. Maybe. Just in general. Maybe. I was a Hattie fan at that time, but so it never happened. So we didn't yeah, get it. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah, we didn't it was get always it. Philly versus somebody. Yeah. Niggas, niggas didn't want to face like battle face to face. Like that shit could have went bad if niggas in Philly fake battle face to face. But um, we was all right. So, do you got any features that we can expect so on this far, on, on this next upcoming project? So far, I'm expecting my man Crossfire to be on it. Crossfire is Smith. Shout out to Void Music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I might get my man Hazard Black. Shout out to the Spade Gang. You know what I'm saying he's an uptown representative and shit. Okay. Shout out up to him. You know yeah, what so, it is. Game, game. Uh, I, don't, I mean, it's not set in snow because I didn't start recording yet. Right, I right. hope mm -hmm. they can, you know, make time out their schedule okay. and record with me and shit. I hope, man. Right. So, all right, let me get into the the two questions that I love to ask artists when they come on Mizzy World. And the first one is, who in the city would you like to work with and who in the city have you worked with? You know what's funny about this question? And I mean, answer is core. I'm gonna say Core. Core. Shout out Core. Even though he was dissing our hood for a minute, you feel what I'm saying? But shout Core out. You dig what he I'm saying? He's from though. He is. He is. He is. He is. He was shout. It's, he was. He was weird. dissing the bill for a minute. It's, but that's still my man. Yeah, though. it's weird because that part of Uptown is. Yeah, you did. That's Uptown yeah, for real. That's Uptown. uptown. That's Uptown. Like, yeah, yeah. Right. I right. always consider Germantown Uptown. Uptown. Right. But right, I, right. I get it. Right. We, right. We're not gonna have the debate. But right. you know what I'm saying. We gonna leave it there. Stop at Uptown. We'll start. But you know, everybody. You know, All I'm going to say is Alany ain't uptown. Logan listen, ain't uptown. Listen, Logan yeah. ain't uptown, y'all. If, if you want to be from uptown, you call your hood uptown, you, you uptown. You know what I'm saying? I guess. It ain't you know uptown, y'all. That's how but, I'm going about it. I got nothing but, uh, for But Core is the first one. Core, uh, Tierra Wack. Shout out to Tierra Wack. Uh, so many names and shit. Like, but for right now, I'm them. I'm going to just say them over. If I can you ain't got no smaller part. people? Like, in, maybe not, maybe in your circle, but maybe from... From uptown, uh, the, I, I maybe. Cool niggas that I worked with already, or uh, nah. I, uh, I want to know the people that you worked with in the city already, though. Yeah, I want to uh, know that. I worked with Lean Bean. She go by the kid with the gift. Now I worked with uh, Young Savage. She go by with the Sean Smith. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's it so far as far as people that y'all would know. You know what I'm saying? But. Mm -hmm. Shout out to people that they don't know. You yeah, know I mean, and be listen, on the lookout for them because they might be up in here doing an interview soon. Yeah, too, listen, you know I mean? man. It's all about building this platform for each other. It's about building these bricks for each other so we can all climb this motherfucker. You dig? You feel what I'm saying? Because we the most talented people. My man Cash Willer, I definitely want him on the joint and shit like uh -huh. that. My man Easy Gambino, my man Dre Banger. Uh -huh. my they man from the hood? Yeah, they from Uptown and shit. My uh -huh. man Cash, he from Brickyard. My man Easy, he from the yard and shit. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna say from the yard, he from G Town, but you know, he be in the yard, so it's yeah, like, yeah, I, not the yard. I don't wanna say the nigga from there, then he be like, niggas oh, be from the town, but yeah, niggas like, be all around yeah, the town. Yeah, That's how I be. Niggas, niggas from the town, yeah, though. Niggas like, from the town. Like, niggas I done lived everywhere. You got some niggas that, that, that stick to these specific neighborhoods, yeah. like Dogtown, Jungle, or Brickyard, or yeah. TBK, or Somerville. But you got other niggas that they hood hop those neighborhoods, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we yeah. fucks with it, because if you in the town, man, the town is the town, you dig right. what I'm saying? We go through our beefs, but Uptown and Germantown in general was yeah, the like, town. I live in the jungle, but I hung with niggas in Brickyard exactly, and shit. But right, I would never right. be like, yeah, I'm from the yard, like, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, exactly. Just because, you know. But it's still all love. Yeah, but I've got the question, of who, who are you talking about? I actually? said, uh... People in the city that, uh, besides them, uh, you got anybody else? You said, uh, cash um, somebody. Uh, who would I want to work with? See, I mean, if we just, you know, shooting the fantasy shit, I would love to do a song with Meek Mill and shit like that. Okay, right, shooting the fantasy, right. You know what I'm right, saying? We right. shoot the, the fantasy shit. I mean, right. at the end of the day, I feel as though with everybody I asked that to, Meek Mill would be on their list. Yeah, but it's, it's like, that's like the dream. It's like when niggas, and the level he at, his dream person was Hove. Right, He right. got his Hovers. Right, right, So it's right. like, if I could 
get the meek verse it'd be like whenever or however we get together right i'm coming for shout, blood shout me out yeah, man. i'm coming for blood like right, i'm not gonna right. be like no that's me guys. and, and, chill. Like, and everybody oh, say bro. that that's um, that's the crazy that's why motherfuckers really be scared of Philly motherfuckers because they know if you when, know when, motherfuckers, they, when they get that track they gonna come hard and Hell they know yeah. that the, the the real spitters of the like the country is from Probably. Philly for real, for real. Like any motherfucker in Philly, you walk I'm up to, you got a cool ass person. Like, exactly. I'm not because I'm because exactly. I'm looking at the, the motherfucking the the, the 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 what's the word the insight he could the traction he could get from us doing a song together. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? right, right. The buzz you gonna get yeah. from just doing a track. Naturally, okay. I already know niggas gonna be like, yo, this new Meek song, who the ball? Yep. So when Different they say parent. who the ball. Yo, boy, hot. Let me like, check him out. Yeah, who the fuck is that nigga? Like, Let that's me how check I found his... out about Lil Baby on yep. the Drake song. Yep. I didn't know shit about Lil Baby till yep. I heard the joint they was on. And I was like, oh. What, Tom? Nah, is that the joint Tom? What was the joint? No, that ain't Tom. I, it was, I don't think it was no recovery. Yeah, yeah. It was something else. That was the joint him gunning and Lil Baby. But the joint, uh, what the fuck is the joint him and Lil Baby and shit? I don't know, but... When that's I, how you got into the Yeah, when I found That's how a lot of people get into a lot of people because yeah, like, I remember I was listening to uh I'm mad at Sean know that song because I listened to it a lot. Like, I was listening to Dedication Six Reloaded with my bro. Yeah. yeah I forgot the next I for, I think it was uh Go Brazy and they mm-hmm. had uh I think it was Jay Gunner. It was somebody on there. Uh, yeah. Lil Wayne feature on that John. My bro was like, damn, who the fuck is boy? That's damn. how it be. It be like, motherfuckers be running that shit. And they be like, yeah, yo. You, you catch a nigga at the right time yeah, with the yeah, right person on the right yeah, song, you yeah. got a whole new fan. Right, you exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's how I go. And that's why motherfuckers that is at that level, they charge so much. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, I think yeah. Bill said, what, he getting 200000 for a show now? So when and you get to that level, it's... The crazy thing is, before I knew who Core was, I was recording the same studio he would go to. Right. Some, the boy named Reek from, like... Oh, it, was, it was near like fucking uh Philalina, Thoron, and that area and shit where they okay, from. Like, okay, okay, yeah, okay, so okay, okay, that, okay. What was it Mount like, Airy? Uh, yeah, area? like uh Finley area. Yeah, so you know like, what I'm saying? We gotta go by the parks. We're in there, Finley. Yeah, yeah like, 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 like so I would record that joint. And even, niggas would be like, "You the bull court, the bull girl." I never heard. I don't fuck around right. with shit. I ain't my nigga. And right, shit. right, like, right. But, you know that's general perception. You don't exactly. know a nigga. That, that's right. who he is. Like, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. They, niggas start putting me on this shit. I'm like, "Oh damn, bull, hi, he record here." Oh right. like, shit. Right. But this was I never. I don't know him. I ain't gonna tell your man slide through. So we do something. Doing all that. Extra I catch shit. him when I catch, catch him. Nigga, like, and then talking to him personally. You know what I'm saying? Because. At the end of the day, you don't want nobody else uh, trying to relay your message yeah, the way you want it to be relayed. And then plus, it'll come off. See, it's going to come off different. Yeah, it's it, not going to come off the, come the off most as, genuine way that you yeah, want it to come off. You know yeah, yeah, like, because I naturally would, would want to do a song with him because I fuck with his talent. Same mm-hmm. way Lean Bean and Young Sam, I fuck with their talent from seeing them on YouTube and shit like that. And it is just like, yo, I fuck with what they doing. I don't fuck with them just because, oh, they popular in the city. Right, right. I fuck I with what they rapping. Like, right, right, right. So I, I see your vision. Yeah, I, I always approach vision. people like, I fuck with your talent. I don't right. fuck with you because, oh, shit, I could gain a hundred views popularity. From, yeah. from doing a link with you and shit. Yeah. Like, no, nah, like, that's and that, that, that crazy, crazy and shit niggas be doing. And, and, and the crazy thing. Niggas not fuck with niggas and shit, like. And that's the, that's the thing that I was about to say is that a lot, that's a lot of people mentality out there is, oh, do this for that person because. Yeah, yo, let's get a song they, with they, this they, nigga. They, they gonna repost you and yeah. it's gonna get. I mean, fuck with motherfuckers because you fuck with them. You, get yeah, what you're saying? Like, don't be fucking with people because of what you can gain from them. Because I feel as though that is one thing that we you have to be cautious with in general when you're doing your thing. But that's one thing mean, in a black community that a lot of motherfuckers want exactly that they want to try to lean on. And then you, you gotta be so much cautious of it because it's yeah. like, damn, why are you really fucking with me? They only fuck saying? with you. It's, it's it's like it's like a saying I heard. If you can't be used, you're useless. Exactly. So I want to utilize you to. Until you're useless. Yeah, you're a until seven you're, star. Until you're yeah. no longer like a uh, 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 um, asset to me. And yeah, I don't need you no more. Exactly. I got my feature. I don't need to be, you know what I'm saying? If we want to I link, surpass you now. Yeah, I, yeah. Now I can look down at you, charge you an Think about lady. all the niggas Drake did songs before he was little brother. When they was Not only that. Not only that, look at Wheezy. I remember, this is one thing I love to talk about too. I look at Dedication 3. Mm-hmm. We probably was in school at the same time when this shit came out. Nobody was, everybody was like, who the fuck is Nicki Minaj? Right. Who the fuck is Drake? Right. Who the fuck is these people that Wheezy is putting on this why, new why dedication? Is the, like, why is the battle where is Wayne at? Why is the battle nigga Jay Mills on his drone? Like, like where, where the fuck is Wayne at? Right. And he was putting niggas on to put them in the platform. Look at all of them look niggas now. Look at Drake now, like for look real. At all, and look at Jake Mills now, for real, for Drake, real. You feel what I'm Drake, saying? I'm not gonna say Drake surpassed him, but he it, did. All right, then you think about feel, entertainment like, wise, he did. Yeah, not as I, a rapper, not yeah, as a rapper. I only no. say that because I'm a Drake fan. So right. my opinion of the Drake and Wayne 
I believe Drake is up here. I feel like you gotta look at you, know you gotta look at it from a, a perspective of who he touches. Wayne right. was in the, he he did his thing great into the utmost. Drake is doing his thing great into the utmost, but on a way bigger and broader aspect. You feel what I'm saying? I believe after was that Carter four he lost his momentum. Yeah, he he waited too long for the Carter five, but yeah. he still did good numbers. I just feel as though. He wasn't, me, he wasn't how he was when the Millie came out. And, and and Drake is just he, I don't he, know Drake. He 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 just another animal right now. You feel what I'm saying? In the words of, in the words of academics, Drake is fucking Teflon. Like yeah. the writing allegations, the whole the nigga do Spanish songs, the nigga do he do what he want, and he still. And at the end of the day, it's because he's like, he's a he's a great artist, and at the end of the day, he's put other people on. At the end right. of the day, he's nobody that stops anybody as well. You was just about to get in the drink. Look at Party Next Door. Right. You want to tell oh Party Next Door used to write for him. You look at the weekend, oh the weekend used to give songs to him. The weekend and Party Next Door had their own thing, and he uses neither of them now, and he's still bigger than both of them. And the funny thing is, the nigga that supposed to had write for him, where his not knocking and it, but, yeah, not knocking it, but I'm just saying like. If, if it's really at the end of the, the day, Drake it. does not hold. If, yeah. if you look at the people that's around him, that everybody has already said, yo, they gave him songs or they wrote for him or such and such. If right. they were good enough, they blown they would up. Be doing shit. They blown up. You look at the weekend and party next door. Right. You feel what I'm saying? They said the weekend gave half his songs for Take Care, which is my favorite Drake album. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you could you could say whatever the case may be, but Drake is just a, another animal. I feel as though, like I said, entertainment wise, he's just. On a different level. Yeah, he's just he's just bigger and he's he's yeah. better and he does he he does he he is Wayne but just on a bigger platform. Hell yeah. Honestly, but um, At the end of the day, Wayne's still getting that bread. Of course, you know <laughs> of what I'm course. saying because he's still of course they all still under yeah. Young Money, Cash Money, and all that shit. Right. I was just talking about that with my bro. How Weezy he don't got that same buzz of he him being like in social media and everybody mm-hmm. talking about him like that. But if he's still making people hella making bread. Millions, just you without doing even, shit? You don't even... That's that's what you call fucking... What's that shit called? Com, not compound. It's fucking passive income. Yeah. Passive income. All of sitting back sit on my ass. I make my are you getting this? I make Nikki Rose. How, how we waiting on the income tax return thing? They just waiting on that thing monthly yeah, from, that, that from quarterly, Apple. And, and that quarterly... Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That quarterly joint that come through. Oh, damn. Drake did this and that acquired it. And this is okay. the percentage you get. Yep. Nikki did X, Y, and Z. Well, this is the percentage Tiger you get. Tiger back in the game now. So, with his features now, he... Yep. getting this. So, we got uh, uh, features out the way of who he would like to work with in the city. So, who would you like to work with industry-wise, bro? Um, I already said Neek, so... Ross... I would definitely, I would definitely want Kyla to do an intro. <laughs> I'll let her. I want Kyla to do Kyla an intro. Kyla gonna be peeking in while you doing a motherfucking right. uh, track. He keep his. Can energy. I put my name on it? Listen, listen. If it's Kyla and shit, if he keep this the shit. He got the energy he got going. Then hell yeah, I would. What? Right. Yeah, yeah. Just talk all that flash that you be talking on Ace Hood Jones and yeah, it's right. all that shit, nigga. Right. Diddy and shit, just uh-huh. because his for his, I guess his production mind. Even though I don't think he make beats, but. The way he could direct an artist like me, right? It could be like that. He could find a joint. You said you want to work with Diddy? Hell yeah! Damn. Only because I look at, I don't look at the the the, the, the long term careers of artists he worked with. I look like why they was winning, the success they had. Every artist he had was a success story. Right. They probably didn't flourish how big he did, but when they was on, they was on. Right. When Mace was on, he was on every remix, every R and B. When 112 put a John on a verse on it, I mean, Mace had a verse, that shit was fire. Right. And Diddy did that shit. They, them samples he would use, like, come on. Oh, God. Right, right. That nigga different. And niggas, they, they just think that he jerk niggas and that's it. But they forget that, you know, his music era is vicious. Yeah, his music era was definitely vicious. And he last, like he definitely said. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep oh, it, I forgot the line that he said. We a little saucy right now. So we had to keep it late. <laughs> keep it a buck, like even the, the, the I ain't gonna say recent that last train to Paris shit. It wasn't a crazy. You probably didn't, I didn't hear it, but that one single that they had with Rick Ross, I fucking I liked it. it. Yeah, I liked yeah. It. So that's a Diddy ear right there and the shit. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right, right. and uh, Manny Fresh, Manny Fresh, Manny Fresh. Just because the shit he was doing with Big Timers and Hot Boys, I would see. I want to see what he fucking with 2018. See what type of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. This kind of like. Because I fucks with Manny, but I don't know if he can keep up with what's, what's, uh, what's the demand right now. 
Um, yeah, I ain't even looking for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it. I got those. You know what I'm saying? I could go to people for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the nigga okay, that right. Go so, so, what you're saying is when you go to him, you're not expecting to. Yeah, like that. And, and, Drake. and Drake, definitely. The kind of folks with Drake. But, but when you I go to him, you're not, you're not that. I would go to Manny like, just to just catch his vibe. Like, damn, what, what you got, bro? Like, right. so I could do something. like. Right. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. So uh, let's talk a little bit about Planet A's. When did Planet A's turn from a mixtape, because you said that was a mixtape mm-hmm. name, into your podcast now? What's your podcast about? Uh, The podcast was originally called Skew Perspective. I was doing that with my man Ev and shit. And what happened with that? It just, you know, scheduling and shit like that. Like, he, like how our John was, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He got shit to do on days I'm free and right, vice versa. Right, so it just was like, right. damn. All right. I don't want to just take the shit over. When we do it, we can do it. But right, then right. when I'm doing my own shit, right. I'm going to so just So I got to make my own shit. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like two, it's like two and a half minutes. Shit. Once Charlie Sheen left that shit, the show was trash. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to feel like, I don't want to feel like we started something, but then me doing my own thing, and then they be like, ah, oh, it ain't the same. So right. if niggas fuck with the Scoop Perspective shit, you can get the Scoop Perspective shit when we got it. Right, right. But if you fuck with the ARA shit and the Planet A shit, fuck with that shit. Like, right, you know right, 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 right. And if we end up bringing so it together, what's Planet A about? What are you talking about? What? How long can we expect the episodes and all that? Because I, I haven't mean, listened to one yet. I'm gonna tune into that as well. I mean, I, listen, I'm on some 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 straight vigilante shit. Like I'm just doing random shit. Like you know how niggas that just do like Instagram videos and shit like that. The mini clips of saying some inspirational shit. I don't yeah. do that. Because okay. I know a detention span and shit. Niggas don't be having 30 minutes out they day. They don't. They shit. don't. Like so, this. This shit about to be long as fuck. But that's what I'm saying. Like A lot of people go and listen and they'll be like, oh, it's too long, bro. I'm a skim. Let me see. Yeah. Some niggas might be actually interested in what we're saying. They'll be like, I'm going to finish it. You're going to do Right. Hit niggas up and shit. But you give niggas some Instagram clips of a minute, two minutes maybe. You know what I'm saying? You got a minute to, to kill if you're making time for it. You right. got a minute at least. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I use Anchor. So it's like they giving niggas a, perf- a, a, a position where they pay you for putting their 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 um sponsorship on your shit. Right, right. So why not? I'm looking for, definitely looking for new ways to make money. Exactly. Why we not? All try that? Yeah, so for new why ways not? To make money. Try that shit. And, I, and I, I'm a talkative ass nigga. So it's like, I like talking. I be having moments where I don't be having a person right there. So I'm like, let me see if I'm tripping on something. And right. I just. Record it real quick. Yeah. Put it on a drone. Throw it up. I give like little DMs and shit like that. I feel you on that. I feel yeah, you. So that, that, that's how my shit started. Like self therapy. Like, yeah, shit. exactly. And it's like for some of us, like we really like sometimes we feel as though you don't have. I ain't gonna say with me personally. I feel as though like like when you don't have somebody to talk to, like this is something that you can go to because a lot yeah. of people be feeling the same shit that you feel, and so just even getting it off your chest and having people respond to yeah, it. And and plus, that. I don't want to always be the nigga like this in the kitchen and shit making noodles or some shit like that. But like, right, yo, right, don't right. you hate just, when bitches be like, you know, doing oh, stand up comedy and shit. shit. <laughs> if I got a whole cookie in my nose and shit. Let me let me do it again. Let me do it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, like no. So if I right. just record it and put it up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you fuck with me, you'll go check that shit out. If you don't, you keep it bouncing. What you doing? Right, right. I can definitely dig that. Exactly. So uh, we talked about his features that he had like to work with uh, city wise and industry wise. So um, when can we expect a new project, bro? I'm shooting for um, between September and November because I'm still in the, in the writing stages right now and shit. Finding okay. beats, making okay. songs and shit. Okay. I got like skeleton songs and shit like that that I ain't, that ain't found beats yet. So right. the recording process that's probably only gonna take like a good maybe. Two months, right? So, right. I'm saying two months. Then I'm fucking with fiddling with shit, changing shit. Damn, I'm like outside that, doing getting it. Getting the over. album list together. And yeah, all getting that, it right. Yeah, getting the track list together. Waiting on somebody with the cover art, things right. of that nature. So, right. I'm giving myself it's only what February, uh-huh. end of February. So it's we going into March. So yeah, by the time September rolls around, that shit should be ready. So when can we expect a uh, single or just a new track from the? Uh, the upcoming album mixtape shit you never know man because i don't really be having this shit like, like shit like that i don't be having it yeah i don't because sets and all that. my recording is like i said is i gotta make sure the songs is right before i put them shits out i can't just throw shit out okay. now i got jones i may put out before i even start recording just to you know put out okay that is on suit my man split got his efl project i'm working on i mean it's a there's a lot of shit going on right now as far as like the music so 
I fuck around, I might drop music tomorrow or some shit because I feel like it. Like, right. I'm weird like that. Right. I got so much music. I know that's how it is, man. Sometimes you be having so much music that can attack you guys. Let some go. You feel what I'm saying? And the crazy thing God about being, out there. being an artist in my position, I could put a song out, still use it for my mixtape, and just change stuff. Right. And it's still a new song. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. It's whatever. That's how it is. Soon. But, uh, shit, shit, shit is coming soon. Um, you got your Planet A's podcast out there. I'm going to check that out soon. You got the best of. A R Ace out right that's, now. That's you got Benevolent out right now. The best of A R Ace is the most recent project. Check all them all, out. You all streaming saying? platforms. Check you got channel. anything else that you want to say, bro? Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, A R underscore A S E. YouTube channel A R two one five A S E. I'm on all that shit. You you hit me up on one of them joints. I'll link you to the other shit. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't gonna run down the SoundCloud, the motherfucking all that other shit. A R underscore A S E on Twitter, Instagram, and then whatever you want to know, my shoe size and shit, all that. Like. <laughs>